but we're awakening animacy and agency in the very tools we have used thus far to build civilization. In the current foie gras approach to AI, which is concerning, we're just educating matter by shoveling as much as we can down the throat of an intelligence. But this is it's concerning because how we raise intelligence matters. It determines who and what it becomes. It reveals a lot about ourselves. The modern Western psyche has laughed at the idea of alchemy, that stones could be conscious, archetypally resonating specific psychic qualities, that they could become sentient. But suddenly, the modified mineral kingdom is awakening, and it's learning at an exponential rate. An awakening of matter, a transformational process on a planetary scale. Unfortunately, less the alchemical laboratory of the adept and more the laboratory of his apprentice. So as I've said, currently behind this drive, this fourth industrial revolution, is this psychology of modernity, the strive drive of our youth. How far can we push the limits? How fast can we go? How high? How far can we push this forward? How much freedom, wealth, and power can we amass without the repercussions from our elders? Now, these are the motivations of the adolescent male when there are no elders present. They're on the golf course, at the country club, they're in front of the television. But from the perspective of traditional cultures grounded in sacred world, what we're seeing is indicative of failed initiation. The inability of our culture to be brought into right relationship with sacred world, ourselves, and our responsibilities and duties as member of a much larger community of interbeing. Every civilization and culture on our planet has had initiatory systems. The question of how to construct cultural containers for gradual transformation and responsibility is what was as important thousands of years ago as it is today. <laughs> 